you know, early research when they did on curcumin and turmeric, they were seeing all these exciting changes in the lab, right? They were seeing that curcumin and turmeric was killing cancer cells. They saw the anti-inflammatory benefits. They saw these different disease mechanisms that were responding to the curcumin and turmeric in the lab, you know, in the Petri dishes and the cell cultures and under the microscope and in the animal studies. But then when they administered this to humans, they weren't seeing the same thing, right? They were administering it orally. And many times they weren't even able to measure the curcumin in the bloodstream it was like it just wasn't even there. And what they learned is that uh, curcumin and turmeric are not only poorly bioavailable, but it's rapidly excreted from the body. And so uh, I've been sharing about a new technology. It's called BioMS. They apply a micelle structure to it, uh, enveloping these curcumin particles, which is then able to carry curcumin and turmeric easily into the bloodstream and easily to the cells. And one of the most exciting things is not only are they able to get it into the bloodstream at uh, more than therapeutic levels, but they're also able to keep it in the bloodstream for over 24 hours with a single dose. And that's just unheard of, especially in the area of curcumin or turmeric.